going. Shut the fuck up. Alright. <laughs> hey, welcome back to a very, very long, overdue episode of Craft Controversy. It's been a long time. I've been working like crazy. He's been working like crazy. I don't know what the fuck you've been doing. <laughs> He's been working, working like crazy. Yeah. He's been working like crazy too. Um, as always, this is Mr. PJ Harvey. I'm Sir Griffalot. This is Mr. Andy Viers. He is also supplying the beer for this review, this long overdue beer review. So, what is it that we are reviewing, PJ? <laughs> He's real excited. Bourbon barrel aged Huna Poo. That's, that's incredibly exciting. I don't care who you are, that's amazing, because this is only an El Catador club, right? Uh, yes, that, or you might come across it at Huna Poo Day. Okay. The line's so long. So Andy was part of the El Catador, is that right? Yeah. El Catador Club, and I guess they're like desperate <laughs> for members to <again>. get. <laughs> so actually, you can't see it, but off camera we've got like, what, seven, eight bottles uh, yeah, there? Yeah, something like that. Something like that of his, um, that came, all came from the El Catador Club of Cigar City. But more specifically, we will be reviewing the... Bourbon Barrel Aged Hoonapoo, 2017? 2017. 2017. Uh, PJ, do you mind to read this? Kind of give us an idea of what we're trying. According to the Surgeon Journal, oh, wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Central to Mayan mythology is the story of twin brothers named Shibalanke and Hunapu, the hero twins. After the twins' father was murdered by evil deities from Sebalba, that's a beer we reviewed, remember? Yeah, from Wicked Week <laughs> to like Star Wars Episode 1. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sebulba. That's Sebulba, sorry. His <clears throat> corpse became a cacao tree that spawned our two heroes. That's pretty cool. Wish I had trees that spawned people. Epic adventures follow, culminating in a journey to Zabalba to avenge their father's death, vanquishing their enemies handedly. The heroes then ascended unto the heavens where they became the sun and the moon. Imperial Stout brewed with Ancho and Pasilla chili peppers, cinnamon, vanilla, and cacao nibs aged in bourbon barrels. Interesting. I wonder how long. Probably at least four to six months, I'd imagine. Maybe longer. But well, hey, this is your brew, buddy. So the honor is all yours. Let's open this son bitch up. It's actually on the waiting list for the club for like four years, I think. <laughs> now they're just like, anybody can get in. Yeah. <laughs> Took me four years <laughs> crazy. to get invited to their club of a wait list. But think about that, like four years, and then finally you get in, and then you let it lapse, slip through your hands. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you have a wife. You had one shot or one opportunity to join the <laughs> outdoor club. Would you let it slip? <laughs> the answer is yes. He would. I don't know if I poured myself too much. Or... Oh, it's all good. Oh, it pours that nice. Just motor oil black. Thick and dark. Yeah, that's th thick and dark as shit. Ooh. It's got a, t a double stream going there when I pour it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, yeah, it's got, I can smell it from here actually. Okay. Um, it's got a very, very dark, um, God, so, it's it such a dark head on it. But yeah, it's motor oil black. Let's give it a nose, dude. Smells really cakey, like cake batter with all this shit mixed in. It's like in. cake icing too. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's got like that sugary component. Almost smell. like a barley one. If you've ever had Bourbon County barley one, yeah, uh, yeah that's got like a that. sugary cake icing. That's exactly oh. what I'm getting out of this, but a little bit more spiciness. This this reminds me of Marshall Zukov. It does. That that was my first thought. Like the the really thick like. Nutty, cakey, yeah. battery, uh, fudgy. It's yeah. got a, a, a big chocolate component too. I mean, imagine eating like oh, chocolate wow. cake and like <laughs> having like this reduction. This is like far more decadent than I thought it would be. Holy crap! And it's got kind of a dark fruit character um, as well. Yeah, super fudgy bourbon, cinnamon, and like a touch of a pepper skin, but it's like an even more subdued. Compared oh, yeah. to the Hunapu. Oh, it's just a, a wonderful blend yeah. and a balance. It smells wonderful. 
Well, hell, thank you so much, Andy, for bringing this. Like, that's yeah, so cool of you, man. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. guys. My wife wanted me to sell it. So. <laughs> you guys Sorry, should Victoria. Be <laughs> you, you guys We're drinking it instead. And I am oh. so glad we are. <laughs> oh, that wow. Is. So, to me, this is like a French toast with chocolate sauce and cinnamon on top and a little bit of sweet cream. I know that's <laughs> you really love random. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but wow, this is sweet. But it is so drinkable. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, it's so sweetness. Like a, a slight... A what? A slight rat, like a raspberry. Okay, like a fruitiness. No, like just like you know, like not raspberry tart. Tart. <laughs> not tarty. Like it's not late, but it is showing up late. But I'm just getting like a, a really viscous, thick fudge, like brownie batter type. Like it's, it's just like slightly there for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's kind of nutty too. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so, so smooth though. Good. Like it's so smooth. Um yeah, this, this is, is very a deceptive for I don't know what the ABV is on it. Yeah, what yeah. is it? I don't know. It doesn't say on the bottom. I don't think it does say. Let's look it up. Um it does say Imperial Stout Brew with Ancho and Pasilla chili peppers, cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate, Asian bourbon barrel. So yeah, it, it does not say what the ABV is. If I had to guess it'd be around twelve five. Like, I don't know for sure, but... Definitely above 10. Man, this I bet, is... I bet it's 13, 13. It, it's nine. just viscous. It's thick. It's got this wonderful brownie batter characteristic. Check that out. Oh, it's 14.6? 14.6. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, so it's 14.6, <laughs> apparently. Um, but you can't tell. It's, no, it's no, just, it's not very deceptive. It's, it's got really nice sweetness to it. It's just so drinkable for a 14 And the sweetness is it. overpowering. Like some of these burn barrel aged beers, like it's just sweet. Like it's yeah. It's like pucker, like yeah. cloyingly sweet. Yeah. Thing. But this is like this is just. I think it goes good with the spicy character of Hunapu. I like it better. Obviously, I like this better yeah. than regular yeah. Hunapu. It just it just does. It takes it to the next level. Yeah. For the spicy. And that's uh, what we we're hoping for. Yeah. For the spicy notes that are already present in the Hunapu. And to age, I wish I knew what, what bourbon barrels they were using. Yeah. Who knows? I'm sure they're from Kentucky, <laughs> obviously, but I'd be curious to find out what they were. But I mean, for all the money you pay for the Cabador Club, they should give you like oh, a piece God. of the barrel they fucking yeah, age it in and make you like a special glass out of the wood or some <laughs> bullshit. Oh, cool. <laughs> they really <laughs> fucking Vikings mug or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, what do you what do you think about um, rating wise? Let's start with you, PJ. We should we should have got the. I know I'm putting you on the spot, but. I already I'll already go 98. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna go. No, <laughs> seriously, I swear we didn't try this beforehand. I think we're all 98s because I think this has a touch of improvement, like that it can. I think, I, I think it, it a needs little bit a little more, more barrel. Yeah, possibly a little more barrel, a little more vanilla, possibly. And that could come from the barrel, but. It's got of, it's got the fudginess, like it's got no, that that's chocolate. That's definitely the the decadent dessert type. Yes, it's just a touch more vanilla, cause just only because I'm a sucker for it. Like I'm a sucker for vanilla, so yes. But it is a fourteen point six percent beer, and it drinks yeah. insane. I I could even go as high as ninety nine because I don't. Even, what did I give Hunapu? Like ninety four, ninety two, something it like that. It wasn't ninety eight. Yeah, it certainly wasn't that high. And I, I'm sure we said. A barrel would do this yeah. justice, and it did. It really did. And this is a treat. And at, I have, I at, have to thank you again. <laughs> at, at the time, you guys actually didn't know I was getting a barrel aged one, did you? No, no, I had no idea. So I don't even know if I was in the club then. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, no, we're all sitting here like ready to just drink yeah. more. Um, so really, I, I let's go ninety eight from all of us. I think that's yeah. a fair score overall. Um, again, thank you so much, Andy, for bringing this, oh, and that's so freaking cool of you to allow us to, to share this. And it's been a while since we've yeah. done a beer review. I've it's been busy, been he's been busy, we've all been busy. It's that time of year, so... It's also Thanksgiving Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving night, yeah, so yes. <laughs> We're going to do a whole beer review on Thanksgiving yeah. and not say Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Almost. Happy Thanksgiving and to everyone. if you're everyone. watching this, thank you. Yeah. 200 subscribers, so I might not sound like much, but... Yeah, we're we're beyond thrilled for that. So thank yeah. you so much. And we've got 
uh, a ton of beers on backlog. I know we've said that a lot, but they are coming your way, and we do raise our glass to you. Thank Cheers. you so, so much, and we will see you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Cheers.